So lines within AutoCAD are probably the most fundamental object. Probably 99% of all drawings, especially your drawings that contain 2D geometry, will contain a line. It's just one of those things that's just always there. Now the basics of the line is you pick your first point, you pick your second point, and you keep going. Now after that, each line is actually an individual object. So even though I did that in one sequence, one chain of, of, of objects there, it still ended up as three separate lines. Now you can use your dynamic input to help you define that. So I can come in here and I can pick this and say, you know what, I want this to go at 10 units, tab at 30 degrees, I'll hit enter, and we can see it's gone through and modified that. I can also use my grips to modify it after. So I can come in here and pick that end point there, and I can say, well, this really was supposed to be eight. I'm going to, whoops, I appended eight. Let's do that again. So yeah, when I'm, when I'm modifying this, um, I'm actually at the delta distance. If I tab over, there's the overall distance. And you know, I, I'm just gonna leave, let's set the angle here to 20 degrees, and I can see I modified that line. So again, you can just go in there, you can pick that endpoint, you can say I want to add one unit to it, and we can see it actually appended that one unit. So I can use my grips to modify it. What I can also do is I can hold my cursor over the end there, and instead of doing a stretch, I can actually do a lengthen. In this case, then it'll keep it you know, going along the same angle. So the difference is is that you know you can't adjust the angle. Um, with that. And it's actually the control key that'll bounce you back and forth as well. So if you don't want to use the tool tip, you just use the control key and you can see that it's telling me there that I can extend that. Now there's actually a couple options during the line command that you can use to kind of help you streamline the process. So if I come down here and I pick a couple points and I come up, instead of having to go and pick that endpoint, I can actually just right click and pick close and notice how close the shape for me. So and a C in the spacebar will work as well. So if I come in here and I go click, 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 I can go C spacebar and it does the same feat. Now you can see it's still individual objects. It just kind of shortcuts having to go and pick that first point again. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line and what I'm gonna do is actually stop the command. So I'm gonna hit enter, so command done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more lines. So I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna right click. Now what's gonna happen when I do close? Remember that I did that vertical line and I stopped it? Well, when I pick close, it's gonna go back to the to the start of the sequence I was in. So it doesn't know, you know that I'm trying to draw a shape, it just knows that I'm within the context of the current, current operation. There's also undo built into it. So what I can do is as I'm drawing here, I can go pick, 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 whoops. Well, what I can do is I can right click, I can do undo, and notice how I can back up. So you on the keyboard and a space bar will accomplish the same thing. So I can come in here and I can change that um, as, I'm, as I'm drawing. The Windows undo will also work as well. So if I do a Control Z, I can also back up right back to the start point. So you can do that undo. You don't have to finish it, you know, do an undo and start over again. You can actually have undo in context of that. Okay, well, let's look at this line over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, go into my properties, and I can see my general properties of it. But if I go into the geometry options, notice that there's a length and there's an angle, and notice I can't change it from here. Any, any thoughts on why I can't change that? Well, it's because how would AutoCAD know if I wanna move the end point, the, the start point, and how much? So you can't just set the length from the parameters or from the properties but you can get that length. And as you can see here, you can actually push it into the calculator. What I can do though is say, you know what, I really wanted to start this at 20 in the X and notice how it's gone through and changed that. And I really wanted the Y here to be at 10 and we can see how it's gone through and, and massage that for me. So there are some properties on that line command as well. So there's, there's the line, it's, it's a basic tool. Um, you're gonna draw a lot of them, but there's actually quite a few little options in there. You know, things like um, undo in context, the close option. And remember that when you're using your grips, you can actually either stretch it or lengthen it. And also remember that your dynamic input comes in when you're making changes to it. So I can come in here, tab, say it's supposed to be um, five, hit enter, and notice how it changed it. So there's kind of beyond the basics with the line command.